Welcome to Hack Deeper's Dream Language Update. It is Monday, September 21st at 5.43 p.m. PST. There is, in fact, a lot of activity going on right now in the Dream Dashboard. There's too much to take a look at, but there are a few that I want to dig into a bit, starting with Prom, uh, which is spiking significantly right now, and it's not even Prom season, right? We would actually expect this activity around prom time when people are being asked out and trying on their dresses or whatever goes on uh but not right now in the middle of september so this is this is out of the ordinary uh i don't know what it means and when you look into it actually people are very much dreaming about prom dresses and proms and uh you know what have you so uh interesting another one that we saw was corbin if you look at this people actually are very much dreaming about jeremy corbin of course the uh mp who was just uh elected head of the Labour Party in the UK, he's a socialist, uh, and people are dreaming about him um, quite a bit. Why? I don't know, but, uh, you know, I guess he is getting a lot of coverage, but uh, some people are even having repeating dreams of Jeremy Corbyn, uh, and there's, I mean, this is pretty significant activity, folks, so it's definitely worth keeping an eye on this man, seeing what's going on, is he going, you know, is there going to be an event that involves him? him i'm not sure um this is a video that i'm going to put a link to below because I, he does a great uh, uh job at looking at some of the things that are going on right now where the narrative that's that's being pushed by the establishment uh during this migrant crisis that i talked about in the last video is is sort of failing it's being chipped away at by common sense so we saw seth rogan and uh, uh and coulter both sort of saying things that, that you wouldn't expect to be said by establishment people. And, uh, you know, he said that as a result, we're going to see a crackdown on the alternative information sources where people are going to flock as they realize that the mainstream media is not giving them all the information they need, that they're actually just parroting each other on things like we need to be, you know, compassionate for the refugees. Um, I'm not sure that I completely agree with that. I think that we're going to see terribly ridiculous things like the, say, the prime minister of the United Kingdom um, having sex with a pig. Uh, yeah, actually, that did happen today. And I think we're going to see even more ridiculous things uh, just so that there are things that everyone can't help but talking about. Um, and I do think we're going to see lots of people dreaming about pigs. It's already sort of started <laughs> this week leading up to the to the announcement. Uh, but I do expect to see a ton of people dreaming about pigs and unfortunately probably about David Cameron as well already sort of pick, picking up you can see so keep it on that but um, but again I think I think it, it goes deeper than just um, trying to clamp down on alternative news sources I think what we'll see is the establishment continues to deliberately engineer division in us so that we can't notice that there is a single agenda on the issues that matter so you know um, we've, we've actually seen just in the GOP debates we saw Donald Trump mention that uh, vaccines are dangerous, which totally fuels, you know, a section of the population. They, they think that they're being validated. They're being co talked about on national TV where these issues don't ever get coverage. But he also cited some bad science, which fuels the uh, the, opponent, the opposing side of the argument. They say, well, that was all nonsense. And the same thing was true when, when Carly mentions the um, unspeakably horrific Planned Parenthood videos, which fuels and rightly so the the debate that these this is a organization that's it's a criminal organization but she misquotes the videos which fuels the opposing argument because they can just say she that didn't happen none of what she was talking about it even happened so both when the, when the, when you see these leaks it looks like the system is actually sacrificing some ground actually giving out nuggets of truth to to almost like a friendly fire like an offering here's something else you can talk about look at this instead of instead of the migrant crisis, and it does, it, just, it provides a distraction, but I would not expect that this is any ground that's actually being gained for these causes. I mean, Obama, during the, during that election, uh, his first election, was out there talking about how if he gets elected, GMOs will be labeled because Americans have a right to know what's in their food, right? So these are, these are empty promises, and it's just temporary distractions from the issues that we're, we need to be talking about. And I brought up this, this picture just to emphasize that whatever is really going on can just be presented in, in a right and left paradigm 
that that totally shapes the thinking and if you're not aware of that if you're not actively trying to think outside of what's being served to you then you just have no you have no hope of of what's going on uh of figuring it out so so keep your mind open keep your eyes open and uh stay stay active